friends welcome back to my channel today I am super excited because I just recently saw that Colourpop not only is turning five this year but they have a new release out and it is this watermelon summer theme which seems so much fun I got this idea that maybe what I would do to help Colourpop celebrate their fifth birthday is go through all of my Colourpop makeup. If you are new here, you may not know when I started my channel a few years ago, I had no idea who Colourpop was. A very good YouTube friend of mine, SamBam89, had sent me some of their makeup because she's like, how do you not know about this? Try this stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be obsessed with Colourpop by the time this is over with. What is it? What is it? I need a moment of silence for the beauty that is in here right now. I became obsessed with ColourPop from that day forward and I feel like I have spoken about ColourPop so many times on my channel that I was like, I think I owe it to you guys to kind of tell you what exactly from ColourPop do I have in my collection. Everything that I have in here from Super Shock Shadows, highlighters, lippies, I, oh my goodness, their palettes, their, I actually have a bronzer that I've talked about recently. There's so much in my collection that as I was pulling it out, I was like, is this everything? I've probably lost a few things in handbags, lippies, stuff like that. But this is what I have in my ColourPop collection. And I thought it would be kind of fun to also let you know what I think of their new watermelon collection for their fifth birthday and let you know if I'm going to purchase or pass anything as well. So let's jump into all of my ColourPop makeup. When I first started my channel, I didn't have a lot of money to just throw out to review makeup for my channel, so I didn't really know what to do. But when I found ColourPop, I realized their products are so amazing and they're so inexpensive that I fell in love with not only, I guess, just the brand itself, but the mission behind it to make women really feel beautiful where you don't have to spend $50 on an eyeshadow palette or on a super shock sh like highlighter. You don't have to spend 20 bucks. I mean, they have such great products and I'm so grateful for them. And everybody calls them the company that never sleeps because there's always a new release out. So they always keep it exciting. I honestly can't remember which of these Super Shock shadows were some of my first Super Shock shadows, but I got a whole like six pack from SamBam89. Hey girl, I still owe you for teaching me all about ColourPop. Uh, I have a bunch of their Super Shock shadows. That's when I think they were really becoming a huge thing. And then I just started adding more and more because the formula is so stunning. I have too many to like sit here and swatch all of them for you, but I will let you know a few of my absolute stunning favorites. Two that I have hit pan on are Going Rogue and Itty Bitty, which is from the Amanda Steele collection. Going Rogue I've talked about recently. It's this beautiful like nude shimmer that looks stunning on the lids. And I feel like you could do a pop of color in the crease with this. I love it. I have hit pan on this baby. And Itty Bitty is this really pretty pink shade that I actually like to marry with this other color for just a fun summer eye look. These are so creamy. These are so fantastic. These were some of the firsts for me with ColourPop. Hydroplane is also one of my other favorites. It's this beautiful blue shimmer here that is stunning and great for just that little extra zhuzh when you're wanting to dress up an eye look without doing much. Let Me Pass is a beautiful orange shade that I fell in love with like last fall, I think. Stunning. Oh, so obsessed with these. These are such a creamy formula. You don't need to do much to create an eye look with these. You can literally use your fingers or you can use a brush, but you can really dress up an eye look with any Super Shock shadows. I have so many of them. And I really feel like, as I noticed as I was pulling out my collection, so many are similar in color range. So I almost was like, do I need to go back on their website and see some things that I don't have that aren't even in the same vein of? Just because I love them so much. And I recently put them in a shop my stash, as you guys know, and refell in love with them. I mean, mm, so pretty. And I love a quick, simple eye look, and these can make your eye look super beautiful, super fast. I also really fell in love with their Jelly Much shadows. This one is from the Villains Collection. This one is called Not Today. These are just super stunning. They're very creamy. I really like wearing stuff like this on the top of my lid to dress up an eye look that is going to be dramatic and stunning and last all day. I was curious but also skeptical of the Jelly Much formulas, but ever since I got my first one, which actually was 
Foxes. Foxes is a stunning, like, burnt orange golden shade, something I gravitate to a lot, as you guys know. And I put that on my lid, I believe, last summer, last fall, and I fell in love. It does a really beautiful look, hits the sunlight perfectly, and it lasts for so long. I really fell in love with their Jelly Much formula. Their lippies were also something that I immediately gravitated to, and my favorite is Aquarius from Kathleen Light's collection. I think I have one of them still in a purse somewhere, but I need to repurchase that one because I don't think I have any more of those, and I used to have like two. The other one that I love is Aquarius 2, which was part of her Aquarius collection. However, I don't believe Aquarius 2 is still around, is it? I know I bought a backup of it when I thought that it was going like like out of sale like they weren't gonna sell it anymore so I do have a backup for this and I do like to keep this in my rotation and in my purse because this one is a beautiful nude shade but it's a little bit more of a purple deep undertone so it gives a little bit more dramatic look to the lips when you're doing a nude look I also have a ton of other nude shades obviously because that's the lip I gravitate to especially if I'm gonna do a bold eye look the twirl is more of a pinky shade for sure and I like this a lot in the spring and summer Sunday is another beautiful pink nude shade that I really like like beeper I have like two or three of beeper just like all around my house and in my purse because I love this one a lot this one also is kind of similar to Aquarius too but it is deeper it has like that warmer look where you can really make your lips look big one that I got from boxycharm um gosh it feels like a lifetime ago now maybe like two or three years ago is something I've still kept in my collection I hardly ever touch it though because it's like a brown brown lip. And I know right now on camera these are looking pretty brown, but this is the shade Mess Around. And this is like the first time ColourPop was ever in the box. And this color really upset some people actually because as you can see it is really brown and it's really hard to pull off a natural or any kind of look with it that you could wear like to the office to school maybe I don't know this one really ticked a lot of people off some people really gravitated to it I still have only pulled it out for like Halloween dramatic looks the lippy I'm wearing today I actually got as a freebie because I think I purchased something else that I'm going to talk about here in a second from them but it was so delayed that they sent a little freebie to say hey sorry we know you bought this like the day it came out but uh we were about two weeks behind so here's a freebie for you this is the lippy thistle I had never tried any of their actual like small bullet lippies before I love this color I actually forgot all about this until I was pulling out all of my ColourPop makeup this is a stunning like pink petal shade that I think is looking really good with my skin tone and some of the makeup that I've got going today. I also did a video eons ago on the shade Dr. M which was a green shade that I this was actually a requested video people were like they saw this come out and they were like can you get this and tell me how I can make it look good with the rest of my makeup so I actually did a video on this forever and a day ago but just for funsies I will link it below on how you could do a summer look with this lippy. I've actually also pulled it out I think for uh, St. Patrick's Day obviously because that's obviously the time to do it. I also have the shade Notion. I feel like I either got this from a friend as a gift or I got it in a boxy charm. I really can't remember. This one is more of like a deep red shade that is really really dramatic looking so it can make your teeth either look really white or really not um but it's got this plum purple undertone to it so I haven't reached for this one a lot because I tend to generally go with lighter shades but it is fun for the holidays again I'm not going to go through everything this is just kind of a quick overview but I can't help sometimes you got to swatch it out I also got introduced to their eyeliners a couple of years ago and I really like them I really love this green one here what one is this this is teaspoon this is something when that whole like green under eye look started I think like two years ago I bought this and I was so excited for it I'm running out of swatching room it's a little bit more green than I wanted because I really like a teal shade but this really does with brown eyes make an eye look pop okay so a tip I got from Andrea Matiliano here on YouTube is she said she likes to take like a cream eyeliner go in her waterline to make her eyes look bigger and I thought what a great idea so I purchased this one in the shade honey dude and it does a really beautiful job their liners are super creamy it's like the perfect nude shade for that as well to go right here in the waterline but I learned that when I put things in my waterline I don't know what it is now like in the past few years it's made my eyes really watery so I can use it like on top of my eye or under my eye but if I put it in my waterline 
this beautiful shade here it just makes my eyes watery the whole time I'm filming or out doing stuff it's really pretty I also got a brush of theirs I think is a freebie as well this is just a color pop like shader brush here like a little lid brush I really like it it's in my regular rotation I have not actually bought any other ColourPop brushes though is there a brush that you love from ColourPop that you think I should invest in because I forgot that they have brushes I had this in a shop my stash and I'm sure I, I don't hear a lot about their bronzer so I don't know if they're like the best ever but this is the ColourPop bronzer that doesn't have a name on it and I think I said this is afternoon delight or something like that um they don't have names on them because this is when they first came out I was concerned and I know a lot of you were concerned when I put this in a shot my stash because I was like "Ooh, this doesn't look too appealing but on the skin it was really pretty so I have kept this in my collection and it blends out really beautifully and it kind of gives this like beautiful lift to my face almost like it's a contour um I've kept this in my collection mostly because I was really surprised by how how good of a product it was even though it doesn't look so pretty in the pan but their highlighters their highlighters are something that you absolutely should try if you have not yet I have two here butterfly beach and wisp these are so beautiful oh my goodness these are not subtle highlights but these are absolutely stunning on the face they give a beautiful wet look I reach for these a lot in the spring and summer especially when I'm wanting to do more of a light look that's just got that glowy goddess beachy wet look I love these again make sure the cap is on so they don't dry out a face product that I really, really love and still rave about from ColourPop, still use, is their No Filter Concealer. The shade I have is a light 16, but I do think I want to start exploring some of their darker colors for summer. I've just always kind of gone with this shade, but I need to kind of warm it up a bit. This is a beautiful concealer. It really does help to not have any creases under the eyes. It brightens. It is really stunning. I usually still get creases under my eyes because I'm very expressive face and that's just kind of how my face does it. But I have told you guys I love this and I rave about it a ton. Something that I'm not too fond of though and is in my current Shop My Stash Declutter Series drawer that I'm still trying to decide do I want to keep it or get rid of it. I'm wearing it today mixed in with two other foundations to kind of balance the color is the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. Mine is in the shade Medium 90. It's just way too yellowy for me and I feel like the formula after a few hours doesn't wear well. So that's another reason that I try to mix it with other foundations that I enjoy because it kind of helps to spread it out and maybe like it last longer this is not my jam so you can't can't knock them all out of the park you know but everything else here is pretty fantastic let's talk about eyeshadow palettes I kind of saved those for the end because that is where I feel like they always knock it out of the park they're palettes are amazing. I believe it was, was it two years ago or a year ago that my husband was like, what do you want for your birthday? And I was like, ColourPop palettes, please. And I picked out three and I got all three of them for my birthday because my husband loves me. The first one that I really love, and this is the perfect time of year to pull it out, is the Yes Please palette. It doesn't say Yes Please on the front. It says Cute AF. I really wish it said Yes Please because I always forget what it's called. But it is the stunning yellow coral orangey pinky golden palette i love this palette and like i said in the recent videos i feel like yellow is making a statement in 2019 in the summer so this is a great time to pull this baby out i love this and i've done a lot of looks with this on my channel the element of surprise palette this is something else that i really love it's got some beautiful colors in it i mean stunning fun colors you could get a neutral look or a fun bold look with this palette this is the you had me at hello palette this is the only one with a mirror I kind of wish they all had mirrors so I think this one is a bit pricier but this is a stunning like nudish palette but it has some beautiful pops of like shimmers and some colors in it that you could do a neutral beautiful look you could take it to a little bit more dramatic for a nighttime look I really love the formula on these shadows another palette that I bought last year was the Mar palette I have loved this palette I kind of just got it on a whim because I think they had a sale going on when I purchased it and I was like oh maybe I'll reach for some of these the look that I created with this I ended up having to do a tutorial on because so many of you were like give me a tutorial for that eye look and I'll go ahead and link that below this palette was perfect for just a fun summer pop of blue orange look and go 
these formulas. I'm telling you, I love them. And this is really when the time frame when they started changing up their packaging from the cardboards to the plastic casing, which is better for travel, and it has a mirror in it. I got this from BoxyCharm last year, and this is the Semi Precious palette. I don't reach for this one as much, to be honest. It's all shimmer, so I do pop into this every now and again to kind of add a little bit of shimmer to an eye look if I'm using a lot of mattes, but this is one that's good formula. It's just that the layout and the colors aren't something I gravitate to a lot, and since it doesn't have any mattes in it, I kind of forget about it sometimes. This is my most recent purchase. This is the Misunderstood Palette the Villains Disney Collection. I mean, I reach for this a lot already. I feel like I'm already getting my money's worth from this. It has some stunning, bold shades in it, and it's not like anything else I have in my collection from ColourPop, which is why I did not feel bad on my limited no by being like, I need this in my life. You all know I think this is a stunning palette. I also have collected a lot of singles throughout my time with ColourPop. This is only a few of them, but as you could tell, I had a very serious pink and coral moment about two summers ago, and I've hit pan on some of them to show you how much I think these are stunning and just as good of quality as their actual palettes themselves. Their formula are just amazing and they're so inexpensive. I do have one lip liner. I forgot to mention this, but I don't use lip liner a lot, so I kind of forgot about it. This would go with the Notion Lippy. This is the shade, oh, it's Notion, to go with Notion, <laughs> makes sense. The one thing I forgot to mention was at their four year birthday, I ended up purchasing something because you got a free um, Super Shock Shadow when you did, and I think they're doing that again this year. This is the, and I'm wearing this on my eyes today, this is their fourth birthday celebration. This is called Birthday Wish, and it's this really pretty, sparkly, just great topper for your lid. It can really make an eye look sparkle, pop up a color underneath it, I really like it, I'm wearing it today, super pretty. As far as their current collection goes, so I saw the palette and I asked you guys on Instagram, and if you don't follow me there, why don't you go ahead and do that, because I will ask some questions that I do bring into videos later. Um, this is the palette that they brought out, and it's a very warm toned, main squeeze palette. And I was looking at the palette, and I asked you guys what you thought about it, and I did look at the swatches that they had out there that I had seen, and honestly, a lot of them, are very similar and they remind me a lot of my own personal collection that I already have with ColourPop because I got so many of their reddish, watermelonish, coralish, pinkish tone colors that I already have so many. So I don't feel like I need that palette necessarily, but it is really pretty and maybe if you don't have warm tones in your collection, that's a great opportunity because like I said, these shadows are stunning and I feel like they're super high quality and they come in a nice plastic packaging with a mirror. They do have a birthday purchase going out just like they did last year for Birthday Wish. This year they have Birthday Treat. Super Shock Shadow goes out with every single order. So that's pretty exciting too. You definitely get a freebie and it's kind of a collector's item because the one I have here says ColourPop 4 with some birthday candles on it. That one says a 5 on it and it definitely has that watermelon feel to it being a red case with some little like seed looking tops to it. So that's cute. They have a So Juicy Plumping Gloss in the shade Big Slice for $7. That kind of sounds cool. I'm not huge into glosses though. Ooh, look at those sparkles. Look at the glitter. What's the glitter? Mini Glitter Obsessed and Supernova Shadow Bundles. I don't know. I still have to kind of look through this collection, maybe see a few reviews to see if I'm going to get anything from their new birthday collection. Like I said, the palette doesn't really speak to me because I have so many of those kind of shades already in my collection from ColourPop. Now granted, they're mostly in the Super Shock Shadow formula, not in a main palette, but I already have a lot of warm tones, so I feel like I don't need that. I can pass on that. The glitters on the arm, though, look really pretty, so that could be tempting for a fun look. Wish me luck body glitter? What? I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about the ColourPop new birthday release for the watermelon vibe for summer. Let me know in the comments below if you plan to pick up anything. Is there anything that you think I should be considering? Guys, this has been so fun to go through all of my ColourPop makeup. I feel like this is an old friend for me. I feel like I have been growing with my channel with ColourPop, so I've only felt right that for their birthday, I go through my whole ColourPop collection. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you are new here, I hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below. Hello. To see all of the fun, loud, weird, unique videos I put out every single week. Bye, friends!